What's up guys, my name is Doe. Today should be a pretty quick video. I'll be talking about part damage and why you shouldn't have too much of it again because I just wanted to give you guys a visual representation of why part damage isn't that great for killing behemoths quickly and why you should not stack your whole build with like plus six blaze storm and plus six sharpened because if you do you end up with hunts like this so in this hunt my build only really has part damage i have plus three rage hunter but that's not that strong anyway you'll see that whenever a part isn't broken i'm doing okay damage or that's what it seems like right but when i break the parts that's my damage kind of falls all the way off it just turns into complete garbage it's not it's not worth anything right and the funny thing is even when the parts aren't broken my damage isn't good because all part damage does is help you break the parts. It's called part damage for a reason. And I'm making this video so people that don't understand that reasoning will realize. Because it's kind of rough playing Dauntless having these super long hunts whenever you can completely avoid that if you just know how cells and gear works. Hopefully that makes sense. If it does, great. If it doesn't, well, stick around. I'll go ahead and show you guys why it does make sense. And why this build I'll be showing you now is basically twice as good as the first one. So in this build we have the Resikiri Fangs, which give you a 10% chance for attacks to hit twice. So that gives you a little bit of extra damage, and it also has a effect where on the 10th hit in quick succession you can deal 150 bonus damage. That also helps with breaking parts. Now for the gear itself, we have the Koshai Helmet and Koshai Gloves. The reason I have these two cells, these two pieces, is for the Predator on the pieces themselves and the cell slots. And we also have the Karabak chest piece and Karabak feet. These are basically only for the blade storm they supply. And for the feet, I'm actually using a tier 4 Karabak feet because of the cell slot. Now for the perks of the build, we have plus 6 blade storm, overpower, and predator. And we also have plus 6 weighted strikes. Now you need weighted strikes to interrupt behemoths with chain blades or else you'll be fighting blood fire for a very long time. You can use boop grenades, but I wouldn't recommend just relying on those because the hunts last long enough to where you need more than three interrupts and you only get three grenades, so be aware of that. The lantern I chose to use is Dras Fury just because it gives you a really strong hold to cast and the instant is also considered the best instant cast in the entire game. So that's my build and as you guys can see, it's doing pretty well. This was a very quick hunt with getting every single part stripped off the behemoth. And that's what you want, right? Like anyone that's behind on the hunt pass right now, if you're afraid you might not finish, this build can help you. Now the downside is you have to be very somewhat surgical with your attacks. If you waste too much time hitting a part you already broke, you'll kill the behemoth and it'll be a waste of your time. Unlike this video, hopefully. And if this was helpful, leave a like and help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.